You know there's a shortage. Good evening, and thank you for joining us this evening for our Village of Alsip board meeting. Today is June 6, 2022, and uh, we'll call this meeting in order at 7.35 p.m. Can you call the roll, please? Trustee Dalzell? Here. Trustee Juarez is absent. Trustee McLaughlin? Here. Trustee Murphy? Here. Trustee Navas Barza? Here. Trustee Peretta is absent. Mayor Ryan? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so officers report starting with mine. Um, just want to share some of the things I've got on my schedule coming up. Uh, we did get a report uh, last week from that Trustee Peretta read from Next Site. On, I don't have it in front of me right now, but basically there is still two commercial interests uh, for sites on Pulaski, and I have a meeting with them this coming, I believe it's Thursday at 2 o'clock. So Charles will be here in town, so I'm going to meet with him on Tuesday or Thursday, rather. So we'll have an update for everybody after that. Um, there will be a ribbon cutting ceremony, uh, trustees, if you're available, uh, at the Gas and Wash on Friday at 10 a.m. this coming Friday. Otherwise, both Friday and Saturday, Gas and Wash on 127th and Costner is doing free giveaways with goodie bags and so forth to celebrate their grand opening of the Gas and Wash also location. Um, this coming Wednesday, Becky's going to be attending a. Um, 2022 what's known as Fueling Illinois Growth Economic Development Workshop that's out in Naperville and um, tomorrow um, oh we're, we're going to meet with an organization regarding um, ele uh, electronic vehicle um, charging stations so we're going to get some information on that tomorrow and um, that's one o'clock we're going to meet with them and then um, Last Saturday, I participated in a um, bench dedication along the Calsag Trail. That was interesting. You know, I haven't ridden my bike, my bicycle in a while, you know, but <laughs> it was, uh, I went up to the trailhead up on uh, Calsag Road, about just, uh, just, be, just short of LaGrange Road. And I'll tell you, that trail is absolutely beautiful, you know, mm -hmm. riding that trail. And they dedicated five benches. And, um, and a few of the there, there was one in um, Palos Park, one in Palos Heights. Um, where else were we then, too? Palos Park, Palos Heights, and uh, two of them in, um, and maybe it was four benches, but oh no, there was two in Palos Park. I apologize. Two in Palos Park, one in Palos Heights, another in. Um, Two of them in also had one behind Nick's Barbecue and another one at Freedom Park. So it was a, a nice adventure. And then, again, to solidify my argument that I brought up a couple of weeks ago about doing more with 115th Street, I rode my 26-inch Schwinn that hasn't been used in some years. And I had mountain bike. I had to put new, new air tubes in it and everything and all. But rode that from the, from Freedom Park all the way to 115th and uh, Joelis behind uh, Chateau Boucher. Okay. And... Found, didn't find a safe way to cross Cicero Avenue. The traffic was just absolutely nuts. I had to turn around, drive all the way back past the village hall to get home and all that kind of thing. So, again, that's my mission in life is to get a sidewalk that can safely cross you at 115th and Cicero. Because I stood right there and I couldn't do it. Forget it, you know. So, But, again, I appreciate the um, the offerings by the um, donors. And um, it was a great event. And our uh, bicycle unit was out there. Uh, Sergeant Gutierrez is out there and uh, was bike in uniform. And um, our CSO, um, Stacy Urban, helped out crossing traffic at 127th and Route 83. That's real dangerous right now. You know, signs all over not to make a left-hand turn. People are still trying to do it. Mm -hmm. so. Trying. Yeah. And really, people are driving on the wrong side of the street. It's, it's pretty hectic. That's all I had. Uh, this evening, first on your agenda was going to be a Zoom presentation by Impel Union. And um, he is uh, not available this evening. And he, we talked earlier. And we're going to do this at a committee meeting next week, so I'm not going to. We don't have anything to present on that tonight. 
Uh, next, we'll have the clerk's report. Clerk Hardy. Thank you, Mayor. I have the approval of the May 16th, 2022 board meeting minutes and the presentation and approval of the May 31st, 2022 committee meeting minutes. And that is all I have, Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Then we have the attorney's report. Joe Kankar. I have no report, Your Honor. And right, Joe. Next, the engineer's report. Will Dolan. Uh, no report tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Will, as we said, though, too, I'm, I'm happy to get together with you to talk about those sites for additional uh, road resurfacing then, too. Uh, we reached the public forum. Did anybody in the audience wish to uh, address the board tonight? Folks, did you, did you want to talk to us about anything? To, I'm not sure what you were here for. The bid opening for the fence. You know what, sir? Actually, that was last week, and um, I don't believe we, we, we received any. Uh, did you maybe submit one late? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we are going to repost that RFP, and I'll give you a new date on that too when that comes out. Uh, I, I we need to I need to find out from the building commissioner. Uh, that's going to be posted in the newspaper and everything then too. I didn't have a date for that yet. So, um, were you, you all on behalf of Local 63? No problem. Um, I can certainly send them a note once that's posted, but that will be advertised in the paper and on our Village website too. So, yeah, if you would, if, uh, I spoke to uh, Dave Murray, I think, about that. Yeah, absolutely. We were just trying to, because nobody, because nobody submitted, I just asked him if we can get some companies that would please take a look at that and submit. That was all I had said to him. So, um, yeah, if you would, please just let them know that we're going to repost, and as soon as it's um, advertised, uh, whoever would like to bet on that is welcome to do it. Okay. But you don't have to stay for our meeting, but thank you for coming out tonight, you too. Oh, thanks, Erica. Mm -hmm. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. All right, folks. Um, okay, so we didn't have anybody from the, from the public. So standing committee reports, we'll go to finance and IT. Trustee McLaughlin. First, I have a request for approval of a list of payroll dated May 20th, 2022, totaling $411,887.28. Next, I have a request for approval of a list of payroll dated June 3rd, 2022, totaling $422,215.46. Next, I have a request for approval of a list of accounts payable dated June 6, 2022. From the recap, general fund, $278,208.68. Road and bridge, $112,484.23. MFT, $5,179.36. Pulaski Road Quarter TIF, $3,237.30. 2015-2017 bond payments, $93,925 even. Also, 2015-2017 bond payments, $80,600 even. Liability and workers' comp insurance, $36,564 even. IMRF and payroll taxes, $351,736.13. Water and sewer, $409,145.37. Sanitary sewers, $15,748.41. Heritage, $190,085.01. For a grand total, all funds of $1,576,913.49. Next, I have a request for approval to accept the OPEB trust bid from PFM Management. And finally, request for approval to pay vendors via the Fifth Third credit card program. And that's all I have. All right, thank you. And that Fifth Third is is an optional program, right? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely, the vendors are not being forced to use it at all. It would be at their choice. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, next, we have the Fire Committee, Trustee Murphy. No report tonight, Mayor. All right, Trustee. Um, we'll go to the Police and Traffic Safety, Trustee Dalzell. Have the approval to hire one part-time police officer with an hour rate pay of $27 an hour. And then the approval of the Police Department April 2022 monthly activity report. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Next, Public Work and Boat Launch Committee. Uh, that would be me. <laughs> uh, approval to go out to bid for the cleanup and restoration of village parkways due to recent 87 tree removals. And that's all I have, sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh, next, we'll have the Sewer and Water Report, Trustee Nava Esparza. 
Thank you, Mayor. I have the presentation and approval of the Water Department May 2022 monthly activity report. And that's all I have. Okay. Thank you. We'll go to the next Building and Health Committee. That side of the room. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't have my list in front of me. Building Committee. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can take it. Mm -hmm. Approval of an ordinance granting variations from the provisions of Chapter 3, Advertising, Article 2, Signs, Section 3-30, Location of Signs and Zoning Districts of the Municipal Code for the Village of Alsip for the property located 11501 South Pulaski Avenue. Next, there's a request for approval for the Knights of Columbus to hold their annual Tootsie Roll Drive to take place on September 16th and 17th at the corners of 111th and Cicero and 115th and Pulaski. Next, there's a presentation and approval of the Building Department May 2022 Monthly Activity Report. And finally, the presentation and approval of the Health Department May 2022 Monthly Activity Report. And that's all I have, Mayor. Trustee and, and all the trustees, uh, I wanted to bring something to your attention. I, I, Bill, I, Bill's in the audience from Chicago Billboard. He and I exchanged some emails uh, last week and today. And one thing I wanted to address on here was just uh, I was really concerned about not losing the 12 foot setback that we established in the, the original ordinance. And um, as you're reading the variations on the ordinance that we had drafted, um, I'll just read from this quickly. It says that variations, that variations from the provisions in Chapter 3, Advertising, Article 2, Signs, Section 3-30, Location of Signs and Zoning Districts of the Municipal Code for the Village of Alsup to allow for one sign structure containing two video displays, each, each having a size of 6 foot in height and 12 foot in width, and said sign structure to be what it originally said on your what you're looking at is and said sign structure to be located closer than 12 foot uh, 12 feet from the corner of the lot and situated in a manner a roughly 45 degree angle bisector extended from a vertex of 90 degrees perpendicular to the corner uh, intersection of 115th and Pulaski. Uh, the only adjustment I wanted to make to that, I want to add just a single word to that, where I want to say that, where it said that a um, video displays each having size of six feet high by 12 feet in width, and said sign structure to be located. I want to add the word no, meaning no closer than 12 foot. As I told Bill, I don't want to lose the sight line. We worked very hard. Uh, you know, our attorney Joe Kankar worked very hard on establishing that 12-foot setback to make sure it's a safe corner. I don't want to lose that, that same distance. So I, I do want to maintain that 12-foot setback. And I want to, I'd, like, I'd like to add that to the, the ordinance, just to say no closer than 12 feet from the corner, to be, to be sure it's going to be a safe corner. Were there any, any other questions on that? Mayor, I wasn't here last week. Is it my understanding that this is going to be two signs on a basically a pinpoint with a sign above it? Yes. Um, the Las Fuentes sign would be above it and then these two signs would be below it? Yes. No? no? I thought the Las Fuentes was... No, this was going around the pole for the Las Fuentes. Yeah, this, this is actually going to kind of wrap the pole <clears throat> in front of the pole. Trustee, here, um, here, did you? This was a packet mm -hmm. that we were offered last week. You want to take a look at this? So, could you repeat that then? So, the Las Fuentes sign is coming down? No. No. <laughs> what they're going to do is they're going to remove that digital display board that wasn't really working right uh, to begin with uh, underneath it. And that this, much like the same sign as you should see at 123rd and Cicero, will be the same premise where you've got a well, there's a picture we had. Did, Trustee, did you get a, a packet? Yeah, exactly like that. All right. So you did address one of my concerns that I have, Mayor, um, in regards to um, the setback. Mm -hmm. Since Marist High School is kind of on that other side there of the street, and so there are kids that do walk 
up and down that, that intersection there. Right. So originally, you know, it was a little bit tighter, but I explained to Bill that I wasn't comfortable with that. I want to maintain what we established as 12 foot back. So he's got, uh, if, if we approve the ability to do this, he can, before anything gets done, he's going to talk with his client to be sure he can use that much more real estate within the parking lot and stuff then too. But everything's coming back. And then to Trustee Murphy's um, comment with Las Fuentes, um, the pole still being there and that sign, I don't know. <laughs> it just kind of seems like it's um, too much, like clutter, I guess, for lack of a better word, especially with the other poles that are there and the light poles, the, uh, the street lights as well. I'm not sure if there's a way to remove that, but still allow, allow for the business to have some type of advertise, advertising um, that doesn't include the pole with the sign up raised that high. So I'm not sure if there were any other comments that were also shared at last week's meeting. Not really. Uh, okay. You know, it was just um, obviously the, the, the original ordinance we had, which is what is in front of Mont Greenwood Auto, is just a single face sign. This is going to be single face, but two of them. You know, at, at a basically like an acute angle. It's not a perfect 45, but a soft angle coming off the thing. So, um, oh wait, a second, Trustee Murphy, did you have a, I know you weren't here, did you have another question on that? I just think there's a lot going on here. You got a lot of poles and a lot of signs. Um, well, you're going to have just a single pole that's going to be kind of wrapped uh, covered. Let's put it this way: you're basically covering it with the uh, with the new brick signage in front of it. I I understand that part of it, but you know you have two you, you have the street two street poles here that are right in the on either side as well. The stoplight pole. The yeah, I don't have any questions, Mayor. Okay. All right. Um, next, we had um, Human Resource and Insurance, uh, Trustee Murphy. No report tonight, Mayor. All right. And then we'll go to Special Committee Reports, Economic Development, Trustee Nava Esparza. Um, nothing to be voted on, but just uh, an existing business um, asked me in regards to the Pulaski TIF. They just had some questions, so I'll just um, connect with you offline, Mayor, sure. to discuss that. Okay. Okay. And that's all I have. All right. And then uh, Village Properties, Trustee McLaurin. As you already mentioned, Mayor, we'll be going back out to bid for the Heritage One fence replacement. <laughs> and and as after reviewing the budget, there's an awful lot of Heritage projects for both one and two built into the budget, hopefully coming up soon. <laughs> That's all I have, Mayor. Okay. Next, ordinance, I'm sorry, ordinance and legislation committee. No report, Mayor. All right. And we'll go to Planning and Zoning and Licenses Committee. I have a request for approval of a list of licenses dated May 27th, 2022 through May 31st, 2022. And that's all I have, Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Anybody have any presentations, petitions, or communications? Did anyone wish to remove anything from the consent agenda? I would like to remove letter J, Mayor. J, J okay. Anybody else? All right, then can I get a motion to establish the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Roll call number one to establish consent agenda, Trustee Dalzell. Yes. Trustee Juarez is absent. Trustee McLaughlin? Yes. Trustee Murphy? Yes. Trustee Navas Barza? Yes. And Trustee Pareta is absent. Motion carries to establish consent agenda. Thank you. Uh, next, can I get a motion to a Approve the consent agenda as presented. I make that motion. Second. Roll call number two to approve consent agenda. Trustee Dalzell. Yes. Trustee Juarez is absent. Trustee McLaughlin. Yes. Trustee Murphy. Yes. Trustee Navas Barza. Yes. Trustee Peretta is absent. Motion carries to approve consent agenda. All right, thank you. We'll go back to the item that was removed, letter J, the approval of an ordinance granting variations 
from uh, from the provisions of Chapter 3, Advertising, Article 2, Signs, Section 3-30, Location of Signs and Zoning Districts of the Municipal Code of the Village of Alsip for the property located at 11501 South Pulaski Avenue, Alsip, Illinois. Uh, before we take any questions, did we have a motion and a second to approve this? I'll make the motion. Was there a second to this, uh, to this approval? No? Then this would die for lack of a second uh, at this time. It can certainly be revisited um, at another date, but at this time it died for lack of a second, so we're not going to be able to vote on this. Uh, did anybody have any unfinished business? Any new business? Then can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we'll adjourn this meeting at um, 7.58 p.m. And uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you.